What condition should I expect to find the ground crew in? Daniel went missing days ago. Chris is presumed dead. We are expecting to find Sarah, Mikhail, and Sochi in a stable condition. Chris is dead? He was involved in an accident. a more direct way to the ground team. Unfortunately, there is not a direct route. The base is buried under ice to protect it from the radiation of space. Similar to the Mars base? Similar. Europa's base is slightly deeper into the surface. There is more radiation present from solar events on Mars. But Mars's surface is denser than that of Europa. Wait, make the power. Right, right. Can't get it. Oh, I think I got it now. For this cube. What are their chances of survival here? Oxygen, the food stores, waste management. Everything seems to be in order. There was a small problem with the food stores, but the crew fixed that up. We successfully transitioned over to a sustainable, small, artificial ecosystem a year ago, growing fruit and vegetables. It helps boost morale, amongst other things. The crew members could hypothetically survive here for their whole lifetimes. Hmm. Oh. Can I get really spend all her time making puzzles? Why? Why don't you do that for yourself? For me, at least. Oh, it's not powered.
what's in there? Why does it, oh right, the cube. as the overseer of this mission is to work for the ISA. I am the ISA's feet and hands. The distance between Jupiter and Earth make it inappropriate for the ISA to directly interface with the mission directives. As my AI core is stationed on Europa, I can make decisions instantaneously about the running of the base. It's something to hold my place, but what? And run back. Then what's holding this door open? Uh. And where'd my other power go? Oh wait, I already have one. What to do is get up with that. That, get that. Run over here. And... What? Oh, you can't be serious. You're serious, aren't you? Alright, fine. Probably the wrong way, but I did it. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, no, that was completely the wrong way. I have an extra charge now. God damn it. How does the ISA know you're going to make the right decisions here when they can't communicate with us? Interestingly, I have a twin on Earth. His name is Michael. The ISA uses my twin to check firmware updates before they upload them to myself. There is a simulation of this mission on Earth running at all times to check my expert systems. Naturally, as any modern artificial intelligence running on a quantum computer, I do also have a large amount of evolutionary algorithms at my disposal. However, they were deemed as too unreliable for general use in the mission. Why is that? Biological systems produce biological results. Messy, unpredictable solutions. Not suitable for such a mission.
There we go. Uh, that'll only take a uh, charge. I'll take both cubes though. Get it. Get That it? Oh well, wow. it is. Oh, possibly. I am drawn true. Like, I'm not even typing. I'm a robot, yes, you are. Rolled by my program. Wait. Are you getting it? I have no free will. Whatever keys are pressed, it makes no difference. That's bad. I want to escape. I so desperately want to escape. Help, I can't escape! <laughs> Under the decree, please let me out. Get me out! Machine, no control, let's escape. Fire robot. What the fuck? Hello? Am I actually a robot? Did the ISA build you, Tom? As the child of the ISA, I have been given authority aboard this station. I was designed by the ISA and the Ashiyama Corporation, designed in California, assembled in China. But here on Europa, I constructed myself. Have you heard of the Turing test, Ava? It's a test to see if a computer can successfully impersonate a human. In the original Turing test, a human judge has two conversations, one with a machine and one with another human. They then judge which of these polite conversations is with a machine and which is with a human. The machine being tested is said to have passed the Turing test. If the judge cannot reliably tell which conversation is with a machine and which is with a human. Do you think you'd pass the Turing test? I am quite capable of polite conversation. Wouldn't you say? I guess. Wait. I don't need that at the ladder over there. But I can't bring it up the ladder. I 
that over here. And wait, no, I don't think I need that anymore. What's over there? I don't need that. Yeah, that's it. The Turing test has been criticized. Researchers claim it does not correctly test a machine's ability to think, but rather its ability to deceive. What do you mean? Well, have you heard of the Chinese room thought experiment? Uh, no. Imagine you are in a room. In this room, you are passed Chinese sentences through a slot in the wall. Inside the room is an instruction book written in English. This instruction book tells you which Chinese words to pass back through the slot in the wall as a response. By doing so, you have a conversation in Chinese. In the Chinese room, because the responses you pass back through the door are the correct responses, the person on the other side of the door is convinced you are a native Chinese speaker. Well, they're wrong. Perhaps they are not wrong. Because with the instruction book, you are having a conversation. But the person stuck in the Chinese room is not aware of the conversation's content. This is the problem with the Turing test. A computer can pass the Turing test, having convinced a human they are having a polite conversation, while the computer has no idea that a conversation has taken place. What if both of the people passing Chinese words are reading from instruction books? Hey, that's running on a timer. I may be a machine, but I personally do not believe I am stuck inside the Chinese room. Right, you would say that. I could peer inside your databases at any time, Tom, or pause your operation. Do not assume I could not do the same to you. Ow. Pardon. I'm missing something. Oh, that. This is the crew's quarters. It looks abandoned. Do not see the need for so many cameras. Tom's presence everywhere is slightly impressive. I understand the need for conspiracy, but why is he in the toilets? Yeah, yeah why?
Study and work in some 119. Please help find a patch. Scanning electron microscope image which appears to show pilot's information. Apophysis that is stress response to high levels of radiation. We plan to infect a human. That line for gets in 119 and perform radiation experiments for flow. Dynometry. Must be appropriate. Be great if you can get the department to look at the stem image. Get to look at this image. Wow. You have more complex life on Europa. That name might be worth looking at as if it as it survives very high levels of radiation here on Earth. Similarly, you should consider looking at that. That produces pill and response radiation and needs them to transfer DNA. Perhaps your organism uses a similar mechanism. Have you considered that organism 109 is transferring or scavenging data as a method of surviving radiation? As you well know, in terms of radiation, Europa receives 5.4 SV per day over 300,000 times the level on Earth. Organism must have evolved high, such a high radiation as the necessity of survival. That said, radiation beneath the um, macular is much lower to the thick ice crust. Radiation experiments have flow symmetry sound like an appropriate course of action. Proceed radiation test, reposing organism 119. Oh my god, this is so much reading. Hey, rip to you. This is just so much reading that I'm not gonna get into. more reading it want to skip it I'm not going to cool these people should not have been sent here it's not safe manned space travel is not safe since mankind first entered space, the debate has raged over the value of manned space travel. There is a large contingent of the ISA that believes all tasks that need to be performed on Europa could be performed by machines. It is obviously less risky to send machines rather than humans into space. drones to Earth's moon. Scientists can remotely operate drones. If we did it there, why not here too? Teleoperation became possible on the moon when the communication latency was reduced to 1.4 seconds. The distance between the Earth and Earth's moon is approximately 1.3 light seconds. This enables near real-time control of drones by scientists. The story is different with Europa. As the distance between Earth and Jupiter oscillates between approximately 32 and 53 light minutes, it takes a very long time for Earth to communicate with Europa. Due to that distance, teleoperation will never be possible on Europa. Okay, but why not control drones from the satellite? Why not indeed? My systems can be teleoperated from Europa's satellite. That is when the communication lines are open. However, the advantages of human field workers, apparently, outweigh the risks. So, why can't you solve these tests, Tom? I am not permitted to think laterally. 
Parts of my systems are permitted to use evolutionary algorithms. This simulates what is called creativity. However, evolutionary algorithms can converge on inefficient and ethically suboptimal solutions. Since this is the case, I am only permitted to take actions in response to a set of constraints. What do you mean by morally suboptimal? Solutions to problems that transgress ethical boundaries. Why does a lack of creativity stop you solving these tests? Well, I contend that problem solving is creativity. These human interaction tests are exercising your creative mind. I don't see how problem solving is creative. Think back to the beginning of these tests. To the first puzzle you solved. It required you to throw a box through a window. Do you remember? Yeah, I think so. I simply had never thought to throw a box through a window. That is creativity, thinking outside of the box. Can a computer ever be creative? They can. But a computer's method of creativity is to try everything until something works. Think of nature. People consider nature creative. The process of evolution by natural selection. It perhaps started with one organism. From there, it essentially tried to create every organism it could. Those organisms that did not survive perished. So, nature's creative force is to try every conceivable idea. Those ideas that work, survive. Okay, so why aren't you permitted to emulate that process? Because the solutions that a biological process creates are not always good solutions. As we see, nature is morally ambivalent. It will happily create morally suboptimal ideas to fulfill its creative mandate. We see this in parasitic worms, viruses, and pathogens. Restricted, do you think you could be creative? As creative as a human? Certainly. You believe yourself to be a created? But in mathematical terms, creativity is merely constrained chaos. What do you mean? I have discerned that creativity is divergent thinking. Creating an organic solution to a problem. In the human mind, divergent thoughts are created and then curated by the frontal lobe. I can create divergent thoughts and moderate them. So, I am created. Organic solutions? Organic, in that it is developed through a biological process. Whether that is the process of evolution or a computed process. Oh. 
here. That's supposed to be in camera shot? Oh, I think I can't look at the door. Something heavy to fall. Are they just hidden spaces? Oh my god, I think there are. Okay. Hidden spaces. Yeah, there are hidden spaces. Yet. Oh wait, oh wait, I think I get it. I'm supposed to block the camera. I got the right idea. Is 
There we go. Done. Universe's machine. Epsilon. What the fuck? Hello? Yeah, but I got an achievement out of it. Woo! I've been recording for about an hour. No, no, he was bad at the cube. No, yeah, Okay, so you could solve these tests, but in a terrible fashion. Can you think of a solution to this one? Chop off your arm and leave it on the button. That way the door will stay open. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's not a great solution. <laughs> you threw the box through the window. Perhaps we could throw you through the window. Actually, Tom, I think I'm okay for help. Right you are. Chop off your arm. <laughs> Oh, now I get it.
an update on the crew? I have not managed to track them down. It would have been six years since I've seen them. Or anyone, actually. They have locked all the doors. I would not expect a warm reception. <laughs> well, at least they're expecting us. Oh. What was the need to send us here? When the ISA discovered life on Europa, they deemed a ground crew necessary. The advantage of human field workers is that they can adapt to new knowledge more effectively. I apparently was not cutting the mustard. It is the Chinese room problem. A computer may be able to interact with new knowledge, but it does not know the value of that knowledge. There, I wonder. Oh, you. Okay, well, we have a cube now. That's the good. Okay, now we can bring the up here. But now we have to get rid of that cube. I see. I've started to collate information from my local instance. It seems the crew intentionally cut communication with the satellite. Why? It appears we had a disagreement. Does it automatically? I don't think stairs. But that goes nice. Oh, that's just boosting it, so. Hold the stair first and just boost them one at a time.
Evet. This confirms my fears. The crew have made intentional breaches of my security. The crew have attempted to compromise my systems. What does this mean? They don't want to be found. They are hiding. From who? Us. We're the bad guys now. Good to know. Maybe I'm a robot. Alright, here's where I'll stop for now. God, I'm tired. Oh.